Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, huwag mo kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon tungkol sa solving systems of linear equations using substitution method. What you will learn? Find the solution of the given systems of linear equations using substitution method. So let's explore. Mr. Marquez plays guessing game in his class. Whoever guesses the number of chocolate bars and candies in the two jars correctly gets to keep them. He gives the following clues. So what are those clues given by Mr. Marquez? First clue. The number of chocolate bars added to twice the number of candies is 33. So that is our first clue. And then for our second clue, the number of chocolate bars is 6 less than the number of candies. So those are clues given by Mr. Marquez. And then the question, is how many chocolate bars and candies are there okay we let X as the number of chocolate bars and we let Y the number of candies so we will be translating the clues so those verbal statement will be translated into a mathematical statement so we will be starting with our first clue the number of chocolate bars Added to twice the number of candies is 33. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag-translate. So, we have here chocolate bars that is denoted by X. Then, added, the operation involved is addition sign twice the number of candies. So, twice the number of candies that is 2 times Y or 2Y. And then, is is equal and then 33 so therefore x plus 2y equals to 33 so that is our first equation in the given clue for our second clue the number of chocolate bars is 6 less than the number of candies the number of chocolate bars is denoted by x then is is equal 6 less than the number of candies y minus 6. Therefore, our second equation is x equals to y minus 6. Kung mababansin, we come up to two equations. And then, that is an example of systems of linear equations in two variables. So, ito yung isosolve natin mamaya using the substitution method. So, substitution method, in the substitution method, for solving systems, we solve for one of the variables in one of the equations and then substitute that variable in the other equation. It is anchored on the substitution principle which states that if two expressions are equal, then either may replace the other without changing the equality. Okay. Equation 2 says that x is equal to y minus 6. Thus, we can substitute y minus 6 for x in the equation 1. Kung mapapansin, yung ating equation 2 ay meron ng solve x. So, we're in yung x ay equal kay y minus 6 na pwede nating isubstitute sa equation 1. So, gagamitin natin yung equation 1 na x plus 2y equals to 33. And then, we will be substituting y minus 6 for x from our equation 2. And that is, yung x ay pinalta ng y minus 6 plus 2y equals to 33. 
Then after substituting, we need to get the additive inverse of negative 6. So ililipat natin yung negative 6 sa my right side. And the additive inverse of negative 6 is positive 6. Then combine like terms. So y plus 2y equals 3y and 33 plus 6 equals to 39. And then last step would be the MPE, multiplication property of equality. So 39 divides 3 is 13. So therefore, our y is 13. So meron na tayo ngayong value ng y, which is 13. Hahanapin naman natin ngayon yung value ng x. To solve for x, we need to substitute y equals to 13 in equation 2. And that is x equals to y minus 6. So your y is 13 minus 6, so therefore x equals to 7. The solution to the system is x equals to 7 and y equals to 13 or 7, 13. There are 7 chocolate bars and 13 candies. So mas i-elaborate ko pa ang ating discussion tungkol sa substitution method by giving the steps that we need to follow. In substitution method, the first step would be solve one of the equation for either x or y. Second, substitute the expression obtained in step 1 into the other equation. Three, solve the resulting equation in one variable. Four, find the value of the other variable by substituting the solution found in step 3 into any equation containing both variables. And for our last step, check the solutions in the original equations. So, magbibigay ako ng example at i-apply natin tong step-by-step -step process. Okay? And then, step 3, after substituting, we need to distribute by multiplying. So, in 3, imo multiply natin sa binomial na x minus 16. And that is, x plus 3 times x is 3x, 3 times negative 16 is negative 48 equals negative 4. Then, we need to get the additive inverse of negative 48. So, kapag kinuha natin yung additive inverse ng negative 48, it will become positive 48. Ililipat natin sa my right side kasama ni negative 4. And that would be x plus 3x equals to negative 4 plus 48. And then, combine like terms. x plus 3x is 4x and then negative 4 plus 48 or 48 minus 4 is 44 and then the last step is MPE the multiplication property of equality so we need to divide both side by 4 then x equals to 11 so ngayon meron na tayong value ni x which is 11 so for our step 4 
Isusolve naman natin yung value ni y by substituting x equals to 11 to equation 2. So, ano yung ating equation 2 para masolve si y? That is, y equals x minus 16. So, that is our equation 2. So, we just substitute x as 11. So, 11 minus 16, y equals to negative 5. The solution is x equals to 11 and y equals negative 5 or 11 negative 5. Okay, for our last step, so that is very important to check if 11 negative 5 is the solution of the given system. So, let's start with checking in our equation 1, x plus 3y equals to negative 4. Yung x ay 11 at yung y ay negative 5. We just substitute the value. And then after that, simplify. So, 11. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15 equals to negative 4. Then, 11 minus 15 is negative 4 equals to negative 4. That is check for our first equation. How about with our second equation? y equals to x minus 16. Your y is negative 5 equals your x is 11 minus 16. So, 11 minus 16 is negative 5 equals to negative 5. So, meaning to say that 11 negative 5 is a solution in the given system. Okay? So, let's have another example. So, later on, meron kayong activity na sasagutan. Again, it's a matter of practice. So, una talagang example ay maaring hindi nyo agad makuha. Pero, mamamaster nyo din tong lesson na to. For our second example, our equation 1 is x minus 2y equals to 6. And then, our equation 2 is 3x minus 2y equals to 12. Kung mapapansin, both equations are standard. Walang solve x, wala ding solve y. Kaya naman, sa step 1 natin, mamimili tayo sa dalawang equation. Since the coefficient of x in equation 1 is 1, it is easier to solve x in the equation. Again, pipiliin natin yung equation 1 since walang co ang coefficient ni x ay 1. So, madaling masasolve yung, uh, yung x. So, x minus 2y equals to 6. Nilipat lang natin yung negative 2y, getting the additive inverse. So, x equals to 2y plus 6. So, eto na yung ating solve x. From equation 1, ang ating solve x ay x equals to 2y plus 6. Ngayon, saan ito isa substitute Sa equation 2. Isa substitute natin yung x equals to 2y plus 6 sa ating equation 2. For our step 2, substitute x equals to 2y plus 6 to equation 2. That is, 3x minus 2y equals to 12. Palta natin yung x ng 2y plus 6. That is 3 times the quantity 2y plus 6 minus 28 equals, sorry, minus 2y equals 12. And then we need to distribute 3 doon sa binomial na 2y plus 6. That is, 3 times 2y is 6y. 3 times 6 is 18. Minus 2y equals to 12. We just distribute and multiply the binomial to a monomial. Then, get the additive inverse of 18. So, ililipat natin kasama ni 12 doon sa my right side. That is 6y minus 2y equals to 12 minus 18. Then, combine like terms. 6y minus 2y is 4y. 12 minus 18 is negative 6. And then, the last step is MPE. Multiplication property of equality. So, we need to divide both sides by 4. The answer is negative 3 halves. That is negative 6 over 4. Reduce in the lowest term. That is negative 3 halves. So, ngayon, meron na tayong value ng x which is negative 3 halves. For step 4, we need to substitute y equals to negative 3 halves to equation 1 where x is already solved. Di ba sinolve natin yung x doon sa step 1? So, ito yung gagamitin natin ngayon para makuha yung value ni x. So, x equals to 2y plus 6. That is 2 times negative 3 halves plus 6. Then, we can use cancellation. Cancel yung 2. 
matitira ay negative 3 plus 6. Then, negative 3 plus 6 or 6 minus 3, that is positive 3. So, the solution is x equals to 3 and y equals to negative 3 halves or 3 negative 3 halves. So, the last step would be the checking. So, let us check if it is a solution. So, your x is 3 minus 2 times negative 3 halves equals to 6. We just substitute the value in our equation 1, in our original equation. And then, 3 negative times negative is positive. Cancel yung 2, matitira yung 3. Therefore, 3 plus 3. Again, ni cancel natin yung 2 and then negative times negative is positive. So that's why negative 2 times negative 3 halves is positive 3. 3 plus 3 is 6 equals to 6. So that is correct or check. For our equation 2, we have 3x minus 2y equals to 12. Let us substitute. 3 times your x is 3 minus 2 times negative 3 halves equals to 12. Then, 3 times 3 is 9. Negative times negative is positive. Then, cancel yung 2. Then, 3. 9 plus 3 is 12 equals to 12. Therefore, 3 and negative 3 halves is a solution in our given system. So, I hope na naintindihan nyo ang ating topic ngayon. So, ito ay isa sa mga least mastered competency ng mga student. But for your activity, so you need to answer the two given systems. So, pwede nyo munang i-post yung video, kumuha ng pen and paper, sagutan, and then, i-reveal din yung answer dito sa may video natin. So, have fun answering our activity. So, here are our answers for number 1, P equals 2, and Q equals to negative 5, or 2, negative 5. So, that is for number 1. For number 2, X equals to negative 6, and Y equals to 2, or negative 6, and 2. So, thank you for watching. So, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it with your friends or classmates. So, see you on my next video.